so once you understand this ever-present law of attraction field of response to what you've got going on some of you Esther for sure are beginning to be more deliberate about what you've got going on now it's all right to just wander in just got up wander in and have responses you can let what others have got going on set the vibrational tone for what happens next with you most people do that or you can segment and tend you can think about where you're going and you can think about what you want to meet up with and you can start having experiences that you understand why you're having them because you did it deliberately deliberate attraction you're not going to do that all the time that's a lot of focus so if you don't do that what you get is going to be more meaningful to you now that you've heard this scenario because you're going to understand that you offered the vibration that brought that whether you knew you offered the vibration or not Esther had dinner with some really longtime dear friends the other night in San Diego and like always the fun began the moment they rendezvous the whole universe plays with them because they've been playing together in such love and respect and fun and positive expectation for so long that it's like the universe just knows who they are and knows how to treat them and as Esther sat there observing and feeling and enjoying every moment of what was going on she said you guys think about the bag of marbles that we all bring when we come together think about what our expectations are think about the momentum of that that's why we always get the playful effective waiter we always pick the restaurant that has the best cook on we always find our way through the traffic we always find a parking place in a place that no one should always find a parking place in other words our bag of marbles our collective bag of marbles is awesome in its attraction and that's why we like to hang out that's why it's easy to hang out that's why ooh, isn't it fun to connect these dots anything that comes in other words someone even in a group like this cohesive group that we're describing to you could be having an off day and that off dayness sticks out like a sore thumb so the rest of the group can approach it join it activate it change the whole dynamic of their point of attraction together or they can mind their own business focus upon the aspects of this one who is off activate because power of influence when you're focusing on someone haven't you noticed that kids will behave differently with that person than that person haven't you noticed that your children are often so much nicer to total strangers than they are to you because you've activated stuff and when you walk into that ever-present always responsive energy field what you've got going on is going on so when you start thinking in terms of it always matches so it's a win-win wanted or not we're in this together that's why groups gather but is your group gathering out of fear is your group gathering out of protection out of power in the group or is your group gathering from the upper half of the scale this group is conducive to the love that is dominant in my heart or to the clarity that I love feeling or to the humor that we all find together if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next